Okay, they're all over the front fish finder. Oh yeah, the active target's got them locked in. We're all over them. We're all over them. They're everywhere. All right. Oh yeah. Look at them all. They're all down there just waiting for you. All right, I got that turned towards you. So if you drop right there, we'll be able to see you. Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, just grab the spoon. The metal part, not the You put it down? Okay, I just saw Okay, I saw you pop it up. They're looking at it. He's looking at it. He's hooked up. Top of the spoon, dude. You put it down? Okay, I just saw Okay, I saw you pop it up. They're looking at it. He's looking at it. He's hooked up. He's hooked up over here. Tim, I see one looking at yours, buddy. Yeah, that's a good one, buddy. He's got a hoss. To keep the rod high, buddy. What have you done hooked? Don't crank, don't crank. Wow. This is the one right here, buddy. All right, Tim, I don't see. Okay, they're looking at it now, Tim. Whoa, he just jumped. Okay, keep cranking. Jump is not good. That's a good no, he didn't jump. He just broke the service. Wow. I can see him on the screen. Tim, they're all underneath you. Yeah, really. There's four fish looking at your jig, Tim. You see him? <laughs> okay, you hear us yelling at Tim. Tim is up front. Right here. He's right in front. And th these are the fish looking. This is the front of the boat right here. Right here. What should I do? I don't know, man. You got to figure it out. <laughs> That's crazy. That is nuts, man. Tim has an audience of stripers over here. That's his jig. Time to become a fisherman, Tim. Figure it out. Keep cranking, crank. The rod tip is straightening out. Keep cranking, don't stop 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 cranking. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Don't stop. 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 He's swimming up. He's swimming up. He's swimming up. See him swimming right there. You need a net on this one. Get the net. That's it. Keep cranking. That's a big one. Step to your left and don't stop cranking. Don't stop cranking. We oh, it's in that front box. It's always in the same box. Move, crank, crank. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good, brother. That's it. Keep him away from the motor. Pull away from the motor. That's it. Always pull away from obstacles, right, buddy? Yep. You're doing good. Keep the rod nice and tight. Don't let it, if it straightens, you got to crank. That's it. That's a pounder, buddy. That's a 20 pounder. Bring it to your dad, step back. Good, Good job! You're 20 pound fish! <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, a little bigger than 20. It's pretty. Oh, you take that. You see how that fish was swimming towards you, Jeremy? Yeah. If you didn't crank hard, he would have come right off. You played it perfectly, dude. This fish has spawned out. You can see she's got a little bit of damage on her fins here, some red marks. She's been working really hard to spawn, so we're going to give her extra time to swim away. Okay. She had a hard few weeks, so we're going to give her extra time in the water. All right, Justin, Stay with me. You see how I got her? We don't have any current right now. I'm just holding her by the tail. I'm not working it back and her forward and back. I don't want to damage the filaments in her gills. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll twist the fish a little bit like this. And that just opens the gill flaps on both sides and helps her get a little air. I don't want to move her forward because then I have to move her backwards and gills are not meant to go backwards. I know a lot of times, look at that. She's a nasty fish. A lot of times you feel like you should move her backwards because it's helping you have something good to do, but you're better off just doing nothing at that point. Just hold her. She'll take off when she's ready. Good job, brother. Played it perfect. All right, earlier on I was saying how 
We do a lot of short drifts if we have to. You can see every drift we made. Very short drifts. Go up, drift through them, go up. As soon as we're out of them, as soon as we come into the channel, we're off those fish. Here's the top of the shoal. Here's the deeper water, 45 feet of water. All these fish are coming on the shallow transitions, and these are effective because it's near deep water mainly. It's also effective because these fish are hanging down in the current on that transition. But fish shallow, near deep water, and you'll catch lots and lots of fish. Now, we don't target deep fish. You can find those deep fish. Look how shallow these guys are. They're over 20 feet of water, all the way to the top of the water column. We want to go for fish that are in shallow water because those fish are actually feeding. Why are they shallow when they're feeding? Because it's easier to catch a live bait that's swimming fast in shallow water. Just when we throw the net too, right? Yep. When we throw the net, it's a pain in the butt to net these baits over 40 feet of water, 30 feet. When you're when you're netting bait in like six to eight feet of water, it's so much easier. And you can see on the scan how it traps them in. When it's deeper water, you see the, the bait just swim down real quick and out of outside of the net completely i just see them come down they all ran out from under it but basically they're 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 catching bunker the way we're catching it they're looking shallow because that's easier to catch them if they can catch in five feet that's where they're going to feed and that's why we fish up in the shallow water just make sure you're close to deep water within you know, half a mile quarter mile because they'll stay in the deep water move up the feet and come back down Hooper, south by southwest. Hooper, I'm gonna stop it. Ain't you watching? It's funny, he yells at him just the way I yell at Tim. Ain't you watching?